everyone, it's Shelly here at nap time and I had the pleasure of having my two granddaughters all this week. So I didn't work on the bus at all, so I got to play. So we're gonna just kind of bring you up to date on what Randy did this week while I was out playing with the girls. I don't know what I did last week. <laughs> you finished all of those? <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, yeah. I put in all the fillers on the, uh, <clears throat> on these ribs. Yeah, I put in the filler pieces on the rib for the skins to connect to on the outside. <clears throat> I took some six inch pipe and uh, split it in two and built a new back corner back in there. I spent most of the time getting all these in and working on the skylights. <laughs> so the skylights are pretty challenging because I'm gonna put flat laminated safety glass in these skylights. I don't want to use acrylic. So these have to be flat. And they're not going to be this big. There's going to be another skin on top of that. So getting these flat planes with these corners to blend in <coughs> is challenging. So thanks to Joe, I got the tip to put a... Uh... Well, let me show you on this one. <coughs> These transition pieces are removable. Can you see that okay? Mm -hmm. So Joe had me wrap this piece of uh, this inch and a half strip uh, up here where this is gonna connect. And I strapped it down to the bus and then I pulled this sheet metal over and then I stitch welded it to that strip. And when it's in place, I've got just five bolts on each one in strategic locations. So this gives me the ability to remove them, to clean up underneath and to paint everything so I won't have rust underneath these transitions. And they're going to get spray foamed on the inside and I want primer on before that goes on also. So thanks to Joe's great idea, putting these strips on there and making them be removable, really pretty cool. So now I'm working on uh, the last pieces in there. It's gonna be a, a flat piece there that has a shape with the window out cut in it, and another one to go to the back, and then a flashing over the center. So that's all been really time consuming. So it didn't seem like I got a lot done, but it really was a great step forward to make it past this transition turns. And now that I know how they work and up here, I can repeat them on the back one, it'll go much quicker and much more smoother, so. Not saying this is the way for anybody to do it, just saying this way is gonna work really well for me because it stiffens the transition areas where they connect, and I'm gonna be able to put Bondo and lap sealant or whatever I want in there when it's all done, when I put it back together. So that's my plan. That is all the progress that was some great progress, but, that, but it doesn't seem like much for the week, but the ribs did, they took a couple days on the ribs. So. And so, you know, I'm, I'm doing all the welding with flux core welding, which is messy. So Shelly's coming back and having to clean all the slag off of the, of the welds. And then they look like this. So the sheet, the sheet metal's on its way. Eventually that'll get here. I have to unrivet all these rivets. And that was a choice of trying to cram up under without pulling those rivets or to take the rivets out. And I think I'm going to choose to just uh, pull all the rivets. Put the sheet up underneath. I'm gonna pre-prime the sheets, pre-prime these ribs, and then slip the, slip the sheets up underneath and put the the uh, seam sealer glue on there and rivet them back on. That should be really, really, really strong. So that's the plan. That's all I know. <laughs>